tervetuloa Berliinin Kolumbia-teatteriin, jossa Edgar juhlii 25-vuotista taivaltaan ja meillä on videohaastattelussa bändin rumpali Felix Bonke. Mennäänpä sisään juuttaa Felixia. Uh, welcome to Columbia Club Berlin, where I have uh, Felix from Edgai with me. Hello. Uh, hi Felix, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, let's start with the current tour title, 25 years, best of the best. How much does this tour differ from the Edgai's previous tours? Well, we've gotten uh, a lot older. <laughs> no, I mean, it's our anniversary uh, this year, and of course this is the anniversary tour, um, and we're Yeah, basically playing a best offset. Okay, you could say we do that all the time when we're on tour, but no, this time we just uh, uh, said we wanted to, um, yeah, to find a good, well, um, uh, for the English word, <laughs> uh, uh, we we just wanted to find a, a good set representing probably all the stuff uh, we've been doing throughout the years, which is of course a little bit difficult because then we would have to play like. 40 songs, <laughs> um, but I, well, I think we managed that and it, um, it works really good. Uh, okay, as you said, you are playing uh, some of the biggest fan favorites uh, this tour. How does it feel to play the older material and how have the fans reacted? Well, they have reacted very well so far. I mean, um, the, the audience was great at all the concerts. Um, and... Um, Yeah, I think they really like it. I mean, of course, you cannot please everybody uh, around the world. I mean, there will always be uh, fans who think we should have played this song or that song. I mean, even inside the band, of course, we had discussions um, because everyone in the band has uh, other favorite songs or think that we should take this and this and this into the set list, but then it would be so long. Uh, and, um, well, when we're playing um, a 90 minute or two hour show um, I mean that is I mean for a whole tour I think that is doable and enough but uh, otherwise we would have to play like four hours per night which is unfortunately not realistic uh, 25 years is a long way to go uh, you joined the band in uh, 98 yes. uh, how would you compare to the concerts of uh, 90s To, for example, the concert tonight in Berlin, uh, best of the best. Okay. <laughs> well, we were much younger when we started. I had long hair. Um, okay, the playing was probably a little bit worse than it is today. <laughs> um, and we could drink more and had less uh, hangover the next day. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, we, we all, I think the band itself evolved. Um, and uh, I think everybody has gotten a lot better at, uh, uh, on their instruments. Um, so I think n now or today the band is much more uh, professional than, I don't know, uh, 20 years ago, for example. I mean, which is clear. <laughs> um, yeah, but we've come a long way since, uh, yeah, since the first album, Bang Jory Opera, was the, uh, the one when I joined the band and the, that was the first tour. And I think when I uh, think back to those days, uh, yeah, that is a big, well, big step forward. <laughs> yeah, uh, in addition to the tour, you released a collection album called Monuments on July 14th. Uh, what could you tell us about that album? Well, on one hand, it's a best of album. Um, and on the other, we included five brand new songs. Um, and uh, then... As an other extra, we uh, we put the whole uh, DVD, um, the, uh, the whole show from, I think it was 2004, um, from Brazil, the Ed Guy show, and all the video clips we have. So, um, yeah, we tried to to make a really valuable package for fans, so that even if you have all the CDs, uh, um, yeah, that you have something very very nice and variable for uh, for your uh, collection. And um, and there's also a limited edition with a photo book, um, which is, well, of course, I have to say that really nice, <laughs> but it's actually really nice and well done. And um, well, and there you can see, of course, the very old pictures when everybody was tiny <laughs> and young and um, well, till today. 
Uh, about the uh, older songs on the collection, uh, how did you choose those songs? Were there a system or how did you decide which songs from the huge catalogue you have? That was uh, difficult, of course, because we, uh, I mean, we got together and, uh, and talked about it. And everyone, of course, made some um, suggestions, uh, what everyone thought should be on the CD. And of course, it was way too much. <laughs> uh, so we had to cut it down. And um, well, in the end, we, we all decided which songs will be on this uh, CD. And then we also said they uh, that they should not be in the um, uh, in the right order. I mean, from from the earliest to the latest, but uh, to mix it a little bit. So um, yeah, we we thought this makes it more interesting and not um, well not too boring. But well, of course, it's always hard to think about that, especially when you're dealing with your own music and your own CDs and picking the songs that uh, takes time. How about the new songs? Are they brand new or yeah. just uh, never? They are brand new. Yes. Okay. And uh, as I said, uh, 25 years is an uh, amazing feat. How would you sum up the journey of the band from, you know, teenage guys playing in the 90s till uh, 25 years later celebrating the 25 year anniversary? Well, yeah, there's a lot of celebrating. <laughs> and the whole trip was very chaotic, of course. <laughs> it's like a, like a, very old kindergarten um, uh, where the kids are allowed to drink alcohol um, and that for 25 years now <laughs> uh, but, but it was a very very fun journey I mean we've traveled the world many times and uh, I think we, we, we got to see uh, different countries cultures and, and meet so many people uh, I mean that is awesome of course I mean I'm very happy that I'm able to do that and um, and the most important part for me, and I think for my bandmates as well, uh, is being on tour and, uh, and playing live shows. I mean, this is much more fun than uh, studio work. And, um, and of course, to meet and see all those great people and play for them, that's absolutely cool. Okay, uh, many people feel that uh, Edgar's music has uh, shifted from uh, the power metal roots to a bit of a uh, direction of hard rock. How do you feel the band's music has evolved through the years? Well, like you said, it has evolved uh, in those 25 years. I mean, uh, we've all gotten older and uh, Toby is the main songwriter, of course, as well. And um, it all happened naturally. I mean, w when he started writing songs, um, well, he writes for himself and for the band and never for, well, for anybody else. I mean, uh, we never sat down and said uh, we must do something, something completely different or that we have to change our style. Uh, that's, that was never our intention. It really just happened uh, in a very natural way. And um, I mean, we were still meeting in the rehearsal room and, and working on songs and ideas. Um, and so over the years that just well sort of happened that we uh, uh, yes of course we have some songs that are more in that hard rock direction but others uh, if you listen to the last two cities for example um, there are songs that are heavier than anything we've done ever before so um, well in the end I think if, if you listen to those various uh, CDs from that guy you, you can always find sort of a sort of a red line uh, throughout the whole history of the band. So you can always hear, uh, okay, that is that guy and that still is that guy. And uh, I don't think we've changed that much from, well, like being not, not recognizable anymore. Yeah, and uh, Edgar has never taken itself too seriously. No. Uh, how hard it is to instill some humor to metal music? Well, I think it's important. I mean, again, this came sort of naturally. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're all, well, funny guys, I guess. Uh, I mean, we're having a lot of fun on tour. Uh, we, we get along really great. I mean, inside the band and with the whole crew, with everybody. Um, and I mean, we're having great fun doing what we do. Uh, and I think that people can see that on stage as well. And I think Ed Guy was never a band with, I don't know, 
swords and dragons and or Satan or wh whatever. Uh, we were never into that kind of stuff, and um, yeah, and especially when Toby began writing uh, funny songs as a bonus for a couple of CDs, then um, well, I think nobody would take us seriously even if we tried anymore. <laughs> Okay, and uh, for a bonus question, uh, you toured with Scorpions on their farewell tour. How was that tour? It must have been a big thing in uh, Germany. Like, you know. Yeah, it, it, it was or is a big thing because, um, yeah, like you said, it, they, they announced it as a farewell tour and now they're saying, uh, no, it never was. But uh, it is understandable, of course. I mean, in, in, I would do the same thing in their case because uh, I think they... <clears throat> Well, they were just so overwhelmed uh, with that success and that it's, everything is still going on. Um, I mean, they, they would be crazy if they, if they wouldn't uh, continue. And they are a great band um, and great people. I mean, we had the, the opportunity and the honor to meet them. And, um, uh, and we had a very, very nice and great tour with them. I mean, they're all great guys and were very nice and friendly. and. Um, yeah, and it was an adventure for us, as well, of course. I mean, we were able to play with uh, one of our idols. I mean, everybody knows the Scorpions, of course, and we were all fans and still are. Um, and that was uh, an extraordinary experience. And um, of course, it was very nice playing in these very large uh, arenas <laughs> together with them. And um, yeah, that was a fun experience. Okay, thank you so much, Felix, and break a leg tonight. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you.